Like, what made you get into 18 wheelers? Because every time I see you, you killing the game. We jump straight out the hot shot trucks and come get straight to the semi trucks, man. Anything concerning this trucking is what we doing. We providing opportunities, providing skill sets, showing boys how to get at the money. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And you know, this guy we got on here today, y'all, he don't need no introduction. The culture sees him coming. I've seen this guy with all type of people. I I, I know already that everybody is looking at what he's done. You know, uh, when it comes to reform, it ain't nobody that's on this guy's level. You know, um, I've been... You know, I, I see him, and, and I'm trying to understand what, you know, everything that, that he embraces, you know. And we talked a little bit the other night, but let's let's go and get it going, man. Bruce is in here, man. Say, man, look, man, you one of them guys, man. The big reform movement the is on The big that. reform <laughs> movement, bro. That's what we doing. But we got to get to these trucks, man, because you, you pulled the move, man. This is why I tell people that you need to know how to do this shit. Like, what made you get into 18 wheelers? Cause every time I see you, you killing the game. We jump straight out the hot shot trucks and come get straight to the semi trucks, man. Anything concerning this trucking is what we doing. We providing opportunities, providing skill sets, showing boys how to get at the money. Man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I actually got into trucking cause of one of my partners. I see, you know, he rocking the big chains. He looking good. And, man, I was tired of being in that warehouse. I'm really thinking my partner hustling. How long you stay in the warehouse? About two years. Two years, okay. Yeah, I, I worked in the warehouse about two years. Uh, yeah, about two years. And so when you when you, when you you finally get to the, the, uh, this this vision that I'm going to go on and do these trucks. It ain't had nothing to do with the trucks. It had the only reason I went and got in the trucking because I saw how my partner was living. Mm. All I cared about was the bag. I didn't care nothing about actually being a truck driver. I was so fascinated with like, bro, you living like that? I'm talking about my, my partner look like one of the biggest dope boys around. He was kicking it. Man, this man don't sell not a piece of dope. If he see you committing a crime, he gonna call the law. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was just so like, damn, bro, you living like this and you don't do nothing but drive trucks? He was like, yeah, that's all I do. I was like, hell nah. It gotta be something like, bro, you know I ain't the law. You ain't gotta shake me, bro. <laughs> he like, man, go on, on, man. I'm telling you what I do. I drive trucks. I was like, shit, if driving trucks got you living like that, man, I'm finna go see what's up. I went and got my CDL license. That, that was the only reason that I got into trucking. It had nothing to do with me wanting to be a truck driver or anything. No, it had. The, the lifestyle. It, it was simply the lifestyle. I saw how my partner was living. I was like, yeah, I'm finna go check this out. When did, okay, and then, because cause, cause being the Brewster you are today, when did it hit you that you wanted to help other people that were coming out of prison to be truck drivers? Hey, now, y'all know at Brewster Logistics, we changing lives, man. We got another one. How much time you do, bro? Five, man. When he was 15 years old, the man went to the penal institution. He has been released from prison. Got his CDL. What we doing, bro? Man, we get to the money, man. You know we just chopping up game. Hey, man. Yeah. This is what we doing at Bruce and the So I saw that that was the way for us to get home. So in the trucking industry, they don't give a damn about our background. They don't give a damn that we black. They don't give a damn that we got tattoos. All these people care about is can you get this load from point A to point B? Boy, if you can do that, they're going to give you a bag of money. Once I saw that, I was like, oh, this is the way, bro. I'm not saying this is the way forever. I'm saying this is the way to get on your feet. Yeah. Once you get on your feet, you can uh, venture off into this or venture off. You know, you can spread your money how you want to. But for anybody coming fresh out the penitentiary, anybody that's in the streets looking to change their life, boy, the quickest way to do this and get you a bag of money is go get the CDL license and go drive a truck. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.